Cheers! 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 Cheers!
my banana pudding but i'm gonna do the salad first and tell me why i forgot to unthaw the ground beef stupid so i put some water in the sink and i'm letting that unthaw hopefully it unthaws before like three ish because we're supposed to start like around four five six y'all know how we like to get late so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on my salad hey google play music playing on apple music guys so i'm about to do the banana pudding i came on this table just so i could be sitting down but these are my ingredients i got milk bananas i got the cream cheese i get the whipped one just because i'm gonna have to whip it anyway so this is much easier and then i have banana cream jello and then vanilla jello i got the wafer cool whip and condensed milk i think i'm gonna start off by cutting the bananas up just so when everything is done i can just you know layer it i don't know how many i'm cut but yeah and this is only my second time making banana pudding so don't be talking ish if i'm not you know doing it a certain way because i pretty much just looked up tiktok recipes you know everything be on tiktok and i was originally supposed to do this last night just because i know i gotta be in a fridge for a certain amount of hours because i like mine's cold but i'm always forgetting sun all right so i'm gonna add this Cream cheese. I wonder if I should use all three or just two. I think I'm gonna use all three. Then we add this. I'm gonna use one banana, then one vanilla. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk, then I'm gonna add this whole can of the condensed milk. The only thing with the milk, I just be having to like eye it. I don't be knowing how much. All right, so now I'm gonna mix it. So I ended up just putting it in here. This is actually my new little mixer that I got because it was just like too thick for me. And as you guys see, it's doing the damn thing. So I'm gonna just mix it on here. All right guys, so my mixture is all done. And it's good, cause I tried it already. So I'm gonna put it in this bowl. I'm gonna start out by putting the crackers. I'm gonna do crackers, then bananas, then crackers again. And then the pudding. So first layer, do it all over again. It's all done. And I added whipped cream at the top. And now I'm about to sprinkle you know the crumbs at the top so this is the banana pudding already as you guys see it looks good and i added hella crumbs on there so i'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the freezer all right guys so the ground beef is unthawed it's 
currently 3.30, so right on time. I'm adding a few eggs just to, you know, hold the burgers together. And I'm also frying some for the um, baked beans. And I like to add onions and peppers. So I'm going to season and I'm going to keep it light. I'm going to just go with garlic powder, honey garlic, Cajun, slap your mama, um, black pepper. And I like to add a little bit of this Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to mix all of this in and I'm going to start doing the patties in a minute. I'm just rolling the patties up now. Not too big, not too small. That's what it looks like. And I put it on this wax paper just so it can be like easier. So that's the first batch. And then I add another wax paper on top and then just layer them like that. That's why when we grill, I like doing like the Hispanic because we just like go buy it and just grill it up as in with this, like I have to do all the prepping. So that's kind of what I don't like. All right, guys, so the ground beef in there is done and I'm gonna just go ahead and add my baked beans. I just use the canned bush ones. I'm gonna eat really quick and then I'm gonna actually do the corn. That's the only thing that's left. And I actually like to like peel them back and make like a butter and season it up and like dip it in there. I'll probably talk to you guys when I'm done eating and about to get dressed. Probably gonna wear something chill since we're just gonna be outside, you know. And I also have to set up, I forgot about that. But the setup is nothing major. We just put in our two long tables, put um, a tablecloth on it, and then just add like the chairs. I don't have the actual canvases and stuff. The girls are gonna bring that whenever they come. They actually traced out the canvas. We ended up all agreeing on what, you know, picture we wanna draw so they actually traced it so you know we pretty much already have like the advantage so pretty much all we got to do is you know paint it to our way but i'm pretty excited for it so yeah whenever the girls get here i'll pretty much set up like the other stuff like the easels and the canvas and the paint brushes and all that good stuff hey y'all so it's a bit later and your girl is dressed i just have on this like burgundy skims two piece it's just like flare bottoms with a taint and it kind of scrunches up like right here. Right now, currently, I'm just waiting on everybody to pull up. And then she actually had to step out real quick to get another gas propane tank for us. So once he gets back, we're pretty much going to get started. And whenever the girls get here, I will update you guys on, you know, the setup that I am doing outside. All right, guys. So we did the setup already. And this is what it looks like. Just white everything. Tablecloth, chairs, aprons. And then these are the canvas that the girls basically sketched out for us. And this is what it's giving. And we about to go ahead and start painting. All right, y'all, Tizana got started. Oh, uh, hello, kitty. I'm about to get started. I'm gonna be showing you guys progress as we go. I think I'm gonna do this lemon burst. Girls took y'all shot already? I didn't, they, I think they did. Cheers. 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 Alright y'all, quick update. This is Tizana's. This is mine. This is Karen Progress. This is Claudia's. I'm trying. This is Jonah's. I'm trying, man. Don't judge. This is Nana. This is Zay's. Being a dad over here. This is Chelly's. That's looking good, Chili. This Shayla's. And then this is Ezekiel's. I'm gonna do a little strawberry daiquiri. No, I'm gonna do. Since we got strawberries going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Party, 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 party
Alright guys, I'm moving on to the leaves. I'm gonna do like this color. Then I'm gonna go in with this on the outside. And another shot. I'm probably about to give you guys the update on everybody else. All right, guys, it got a little dark on us, but this is an update. <laughs> this is Karen's update. This is Claudia. This Jonah, he ain't did nothing because he got y'all's ear. I'm in my dad mood right now. I ain't drinking none of that. Can you ask them what is the white part? All right, this is Nana. She says she's actually done. Yes, and she told me to ask y'all what is the white part. If anybody else get it, cause they don't get it. Yeah, she said guess. And Zay's done as well. This is his portrait. And then this is Chelly's progress. Thank you. Oh yeah, I just not thought about that. Sunrise. Oh, Chupi do too. You're done? Yeah, I'm done. Shayla's done as well. That's cute. Tammy drawing. Her eyes. What color you doing? Your cup or it's staying white? I'm gonna leave it cute. So that's Tammy. We all gotta use flashlight. Karen. Is yours a margarita or a lemon drop? Lemon drop. So just a regular lemon drop. Yeah. The regular lemon drop be more clear though. Late. So Karen got a lemon drop. I'm just outlining. Look at mine. Who is this? Somebody that ain't show up. No shade, no shade. Um, Claudius, no lemon drop. I mean, no drink. I'm gonna do a strawberry lemon drop. I gotta get my paint right. I'm mixing in the process. Oh my god. What is that? Jonah and Claudia is over here with no yeah. drinks. They just got fruits. Once I have my drink, I'm about done though. Jonah, come on! What you doing? Well, he's been being a dad, so he ain't really sausage? got nowhere. Y'all already seen me and no, Zay. Uh, We're done. And they over here trying food off the grill. How is it? Tazana, yeah. give Jazzy here some. Yeah, Since Zay cold. done, he's on Uncle Duty. I gotta go out yeah. With this fat boy. Me and Zay done though. On to Chelly. It's looking really nice. Really nice. Really neat. It's like you took your time with it. Explain to them what you're doing. It's the sunrise. And what's the red right there? That's a little sugar rim. That's the sugar rim. Alright. Hers looks really neat. Really, really neat. What about Shayla? Shayla was my inspo. Okay. She copied her partner. <laughs> the white part, what is it? Sugar. Okay, sugar, regular sugar. Okay, that looks good. So how long to everybody done? So we can vote who got the best. And look at Ezekiel. He got paint on his cheek. <laughs> and look at this on the... Where's her ears? Please. Okay, never mind. This is cute. Really cute. <laughs> really cute, Tazana. All right, guys, I'm done. Uh, I did an outline, but I don't like it. I'm a little intoxicated, so I went way over the line, as you guys see. But it's still pretty cute. All right, y'all. Everybody's gonna vote. Everybody's top three, and then you guys gonna choose which one is y'all favorite. Nana's first. What's All your right. top three? So I like Claudia's. I got top four, and huh. I like Karen's, Chili, and Tammy's. Nana, Claudia's, Chili. I like Claudia's, Karen's, and Chili. I like Nana's, Chodi's, and Tammy's. Jonah. <laughs> but I like Chodi's. Nanas and Karen's. Chili's, Tammy's, and Karen's. I'm gonna show you guys everybody so y'all can choose which one is your favorite. So this is Nanas. Vote me, vote me. <laughs> this is Zay's. Cute. This is Shayla's. Cute. This is mine. This is Claudia's. Cute. This is Jonah's. He didn't finish Kill. it. It had potential, but he ain't finished it. He was it. on dad duty. This is Karen's. Karen did good. Yep. You did good for you. And then this is Shirley's. Kill. Okay. I feel like everybody did good. good. Yeah, everybody did good. So comment which one is your face. We about to eat. I'm gonna show you guys the food. <laughs> we got corn. We got the patties and the hot dogs. We got baked meat. Yo, you are gonna lettuce. 
bacon and onion for the burger. These are two salads that I made. We got the banana, oh, banana pudding over here. The bread over here with the salad Ooh. stuff. This is Nana's plate. The Jonah plate. What plate is this? Then Tazana's plate over here. So we about to eat in a minute. And this chili plate right here. Yeah, I told my We better eat. Everybody fixing their plate. All right, guys, it's much later. And we are partying. Hey, 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 later it's currently 5 14 and everybody just went home so i just wanted to update you guys real quick and just say good night good afternoon guys today's monday and your girl is about to get dressed i want to take some pics so i'm gonna get dressed for that because i'm supposed to be going to the mall and that's kind of one of the locations that we have to take pics at we're supposed to be checking out gap to see what they have because they just did a barbie collab and i want to take tazana to that because i know she is a barbie girl I'm not a barbie. originally i had told you know nana about it because you know she likes that stuff but she doesn't really like going out to like the mall so she was like to just take her and she was gonna send me the money for whatever i get to find for um her so that's kind of like her treat so we're gonna be stopping by and hopefully they have it because you know how they like to do down here i wonder if it's like that just for like smaller cities and i also have to stop by dollar tree just to pick up and see what they have for a uh, diy that i want to do it's going to be my mom's boo birthday soon and she wanted me to you know put together a little something something he likes making these like mixed drinks for us and the cantaritos i want to do like cantaritos for like the centerpiece of the table so i'm gonna see if i find what i'm looking for to do that and hopefully get started on that because it is this weekend and then today actually is my uncle's birthday uh, my uncle david if you guys are familiar with our channel then you guys pretty much have heard us speak about him and you know about his loss to the family we always try to do something to you know celebrate him usually we do the um ladders so i ordered that 
So this is pretty much the agenda for my Monday today, guys. I'm going to finish doing my makeup and then I'm going to try to see what I'm going to take pictures with and then come update you guys. All right, guys, so I am dressed, but sadly, I'm not going to take pictures just because when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to wear, um, I didn't really like how anything was fitting, so I'm just not even going to do that. Before I head out, I want to show you guys this little goodie bag that I got. Um, all things by B. She was nice enough to do this one for Tizana. It just says Tizana. It's like this little watermelon cup. And then she had also made like a puzzle of one of our pictures. But originally she had reached out saying she wanted to do some more cuts for me. Because it's been a little minute. And she ended up making this one. It just has like pink LV all around. And it just says Tammy and Bedazzled. You yeah, know I love me. My cups like this. So I'm actually leave her tagged. And also... I believe she said the name for this cup was like the baddest or something like that. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So cute. And then I also asked her if she could do this for me, which I already knew she could, but she comes through every time. But she made me this water jug. I ordered a jug from Amazon and got it delivered to her. And then she pretty much did her thing, which as you guys see, she blinged it all out in pink for me and wrote my name as well. Tammy. This one is like a water jug, like I said. So this is the cap to it like this but now that i'm looking at it since we pretty much you know covered the rest of the jug i feel like i wanted to maybe tell her to blink this part out what do you guys think but i really love this and i feel like this one is more like safe travel for me and it actually will keep my drinks cold or hot whatever i'm drinking oh and then she also did do the little initial for me I'm not really sure if this one is on her website. You guys know y'all can pretty much hit her up for anything custom that y'all do want. But we about to go ahead and head out. Like I said to you guys, I put on this Barbie shirt that Tizana pretty much already has since ducks. we're doing. They're not done. Since we're pretty much doing like, you know, Barbie shopping. That's what she's going to wear. I pretty much just have on this black crop top and this greenish like cargo mini skirt. And then I have on my off whites and I'm pretty much wearing my black till feezy like you know slinged around so this is my outfit just pretty chill and it's actually like really really hot outside so that's pretty much why your girl is a little naked naked but we about to go ahead and head out all right guys we have made it to the mall and we're at gap when they got a sale going on tizana what happened over here <laughs> all right this is not her size let's try to find your size come over here i don't see what we're looking for Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Do you guys have the Barbie collab or no? The only things that we have in store is the book bag and the lunch box, but we can't oh, order wow. it. Oh, wow. Okay. Someone need that for school, Tim. You do not need that. Where's Barbie? It's a Barbie bag. That is cute, though. Give it, give it, give it. She said they only have the bag and the lunch box. So we're going to have to look online to Zona. Yeah. All right, guys. So they don't have it. I kind of expected it. I'm going to have to look online and see what things we pick up. Okay. But that's all I came to pretty much do. So we're going to head out. Yeah, me and Tizana are actually going to do this little photo booth they have here. Just because we twinning with our hair or whatever. So we're just going to do this real quick. I'm going to show it to you guys Mom, it's done. All right, y'all. We're done with the booth. And it's about to print our pics out in a minute. So it says now printing. Is it ready? Get it. Okay. This is the pictures, y'all. We try to do one with our little braids like that. So cute. Look, look at, look at me, man. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we better head out. Hey, guys, so I'm stopping at Publix really quick because I need to pick up on some fruit. Your girl is supposed to be on a quote unquote fast, but I'm trying to think like what's all the members on it. So I'm about to come in here real quick and get some fruit. Alright, so we in here. These are the fruits. I got some strawberries already. I'm gonna get some pineapple. And I also need some mango. I'm gonna take these diced ones because I need them diced. I really love watermelon, so I'm gonna get some of this. Supposed to be making like a fruit salad. And we need some kiwis. Oh, them some go. We need regular kiwi. Alright, I found the kiwis. I think I'm gonna just take two. And I already got dragon fruits at the house. Please. So I'm not going to grab that. Alright guys, I got my fruit. And 
to Zona once to stop and get some Starbucks for herself. So that's what we're about to do. So you want cake pop or do you want a drink? Okay. Can I get that bumblebee cake pop? And then can I get called um, waters? That should be all. Mama like a bumblebee. Okay. Here. Water. We gotta wait on your cake pop. All right, get your cake pop. Okay. Thank you. Get your water. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Cake pop and water. Are you happy? <laughs> I love water. Okay. Let's go. All right, y'all. So me and the girls actually want to get like memorial tattoos for my uncle today. Right now, currently, I'm outside this tattoo shop that I called in. They said they do walk-ins. The work looks pretty all right, but we want to do something, you know, simple anyways. What's crazy is I thought about this last night. Literally, I was looking up, like, some ideas. So when a girl sent in the group chat, it was just like, damn, we need to go get that. I'm not sure if Karen's going to get one because she actually already has one. She has my uncle right here. Um, So as you guys see, what I'm going for is more of maybe, like, a cross in his name. Claudia said something pretty simple that she liked. It just says like long live and then I guess she will put David. Um, Nana said she wanted something simple as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait on the girls to get here so we can see if we're gonna get that done. And I was mentioning to you guys that I actually am on like a little fast. Last night I was really just like up and thinking. I had posted on my Instagram like what is the reasoning behind like you know why people fast and why they do it. Basically my reason that I was thinking about doing it or want to do it is just to like clear my body clear my mind have more of like a clear thought process and just something for me to get like closer with God and I want to do it for like three to five days I read that like in the Bible God pretty much wants you to fast for like seven days of like nothing of like you know just fasting from everything so that's what I want to do like I want to do that like just fast from everything like no foods or nothing but then I kind of want to be like a little realistic kind of. But then I also seen something about uh, fruit fasting. Like basically you're not going to eat no food or nothing. But the only foods that you will be able to eat is fruit. So that's why I got them fruits. Because I'm still debating if I want to do like you know just fruit. Or like fast like nothing at all. Just straight water. Just like hydrate myself. But pretty much the fast is more so like my mind my state of mind and like my connection with like me and god so yeah guys that's what's going on but like i said i'm waiting right now currently on the girls to pull up here and then we're gonna go in there and see if we get this tattoo or not all right yeah, we made it in here then this is the cross i'm getting the girls in here they doing this one he's sketching the one that i want I can send the image of this one so it could be the same one. But I ended up going with David like this, like how Karen has it. I kind of wasn't liking how the cross looked. I'm going to do this one. Alright, y'all, I'm going to go first. I'm getting it right here. Basically going to be 21 Karen. <laughs> We laid the stencil down, so we just gotta wait on this to dry so we can go ahead and start.
right guys I am done this is what it looks like very clean we're gonna see what it's giving once it starts you know peeling and all that good stuff get all held up now I'm about to get started and she's getting red of course go this up. All right, yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated on Nana's. I'm gonna go check in on Claudia. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is Claudia's placement. That's blur. After a whole bunch of times, cause they couldn't get it right, cause she wanted like right here. Your nerves? Well, you got how many tattoos? You got one, two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that red, beautiful on the skin. Yeah. She's gonna make it brighter. She's gonna be red, so be. Bro, no. Teddy, mommy. <laughs> The David part. The David was a Yeah, Rick and Young Pain. <laughs> Claudia's done. <laughs> this what it's doing. <laughs> you like it? Okay. So now they gotta finish up on Nana. Alright, y'all. Nana is done with her tattoo. And this is what it's giving. You like? Okay. Tattoo. Cheers. <laughs> All right, guys, we have made it home, and we're going to go ahead and write our little messages like we always do on the lanterns. So, Jay's here. Karen, Mom, Nana, Claudia. So, we're just going to write our little messages and then go outside. y'all they wasn't really like flying away it's like real windy because it was raining so like the little wax thing wasn't catching on fire and letting the actual light lantern build up the air for it to fly away we get we got to fly two of them so that's good enough he's seen us out here trying but yep that was that and we probably about to just take like a little shot or something for him with me because y'all know i'm not even supposed to be drinking or whatnot but it's my uncle birthday so I got you too. Salud y feliz cumpleaños. I'm protected by the ghetto angels. Oh, oh, ego. How the fuck I could have saved our neighborhood hero? And I'm trying to know what he knows. Long live David. I really miss my dog like a Mr. Pet. Don't say you feel my pain. We don't put it on the shirt, we get a stamp. I always thought that you would be here. Think about shining or crying on my best day. Try to convince me to get better. No, 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 no. Big, why did you leave? If you was here, how would it be? Lonely King David. We don't put that shit on my shirt, we get a stamp. Hey guys, it's the next day. As you guys see, your girl took her hair out. Day one of the fast is complete. So basically what I decided was day one, I was gonna do basically not eat no food at all. So day two and three, I'm gonna do fruits, but I'm gonna keep it between like, eating them or having it allowed from just 12 to 8. I've just been chilling and whatnot. We ended up like staying out really, really late. I ended up falling asleep on everybody, but I think they didn't go home till like 6 in the morning. I've just been like laying down, really just thinking 
I am going to listen to maybe some T.D. Jakes or something like that. I wanted to do this quick little like fruit salad, I guess you would call it. I'm going to dice up pineapples. As you guys seen, I already got like diced mango. I do have some strawberries and then kiwi. And then I'm going to put a little bit of honey on top. That's how I've seen it. I think they add lime juice. I'm not really sure. Oh, and I have some dragon fruit. I almost forgot. And it's literally just like a bowl of like a lot of fruit. Let me take a bite. Mm. It's like you get all the tastes in one bite. I ain't really add much honey though, but it feels good to have something in my stomach. But I'm about to sit here and be chilling y'all. Probably turn on some of my TD Jakes stuff that I be watching. And then hopefully I have some energy to get in the shower and wash my hair out. And you know what it takes to fix it, and you know the discipline that's required to get your life together, but it's not always true that people who know better do better. People often lack the stomach for it, I think. To risk the pain of changing course, the uncertainty of what would life be like outside of the bubble of my normal. I hate my normal. But I'm afraid of change. We're almost like the woman in the commercial. Help! I've fallen! I changed churches and I can't get up. I changed spouses and I can't get up. I changed jobs and I can't get up. I changed my major and I can't get up. I changed my hairstyle and I can't get up. I change the way I dress and I can't get up. It doesn't matter what I got on. It doesn't matter what I look like. I cannot seem to get up. So you give up when you can't get up. Is it easier to live with regret or live without it and cause the disruption that is necessary in my normal to see the growth that I long to see? in my life but whoever i'm preaching to today what is at stake in this message is that god wants to give you a blessing that doesn't even fit the season of life you're in mm. he's going to give you a blessing that's going to make people laugh when they hear it because nobody's going to believe that a person like you could be in a position in fact some of you right now are in a position that would blow people's mind somebody shout it's late but it happened you have to have the challenging responsibility of trusting God to handle our mistakes. You can't change course if you can't cast out. And the challenge is to trust me with the collateral damage. Your spirit has been in a state of constant disruption because you won't change course. If you don't change course, you're going to mess up your future. If you don't change course, you're not going to be in the place you need to be to become who I created you to be. If you don't change course, you're going to spend the latter years miserable. Hey guys, so it's actually much later and I just wanted to update you guys really quick. I think it's currently like 4 or 5 o'clock. Your girl kind of got like a slight headache. I think I just need to hydrate and I'm also about to eat this cup of um, watermelon that'll fix me with a little bit of tahini. But as I was watching TV, my mom had called me basically that somebody had hacked her Facebook. So I was just trying to help her do that a little bit. So I think that's what the headache is. I'm about to just eat this and relax for a few. But I don't think I'm pretty much going to be doing anything else for today. But chill. I can definitely feel like the cravings 
like much more i guess because i'm actually eating something and it's not like really getting me full but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on how your girl was feeling hey guys so today is thursday and i am up early about to do nana's hair i wanted to show you guys because i'm doing a different style today that we never done i think it's the um it's the claw clip i think that's what they call it so this is the inspo pick i think you sent one with kalani too yeah like this so it's like the diama what we call in the front right here and then basically we're gonna do like quick weave. I recommended her to get like the good bundles just because I feel like with the other synthetic it gets like really tangled, especially if it's long. So my girl upgraded to the good bundles. So we about to go ahead and get started. Welcome to the baddest studio. So today's special guest is Nana. And as you guys see, we're doing the claw clip hairstyle. I did the middle line and then i separated the front part that's going to be tied to the back right behind the ear as you guys see and then i sectioned off a smaller part at the top and then put it in a bun so you know it could be out of the way that would be the actual claw clip part so then the rest of the hair since it is like a quick weave up down similar style i am braiding off the bottom part i'm learning how to perfect like the braid down part like how they tuck the hair into the other braid i'm still trying to get it down pat but yeah ain't nothing but some practice but i have seen where other girlies pretty much just like slick it down and put it in like a small bun in the back but nana has too much hair for all that and i want it to be flat i'm trying to explain it to you guys because like i said it's a new style i was doing good in the beginning with the recording but then once we got to the actual claw clip part when we get to that you guys gonna see that your girl just goes m.i.a because i was struggling it a bit i put the wig cap on i like to use two just for better protection between like the glue and her hair once i put that down i pretty much go in with the got to be spray so it can bond with her hair basically sometimes i do go in with that hair protectant that you guys see me use sometimes but i didn't use that for her because when i use it on myself i feel like it's a little harder to take off like it hurts and karen actually has mentioned it to me as well so i didn't want to put that on nana um and get like a complaint <laughs> but let me know how you guys like that is it an easier method to like remove it once you add the actual protectant but now i'm just laying the tracks you measure the head width and then you cut it and then you add the glue and then you just lay it all the way to the top i don't know if you guys can notice but once the whip kind of gets more towards like the ends i kind of like to flip it in a bit so the tracks sort of lay in a way that it's not really exposed but you can just see like the hair because we don't like to do like leave out of course so she won't have heat i think you guys will see it a little better that basically the tracks are laying a little different once it gets more sort to the top and then also another tip make sure you guys blow dry after you lay so many tracks down just to secure that the glue is actually dry and you know the tracks won't be slipping and moving then the actual claw cut part i did a regular like put in a pony braid it as if i'm doing like a you know ponytail i try to make it as small as possible but she has like long hair so that's where i came into the struggle so what i did that i didn't show you guys was sort of make like a bun and then put a hair bolt around it and then just let the hair lay how it's supposed to i wish i would have showed you guys because i hate when i watch other tutorials it did and it never really shows the claw clip part but i was struggling y'all like i said and then like the first part i just sleeked it and then just tied it to the back of her head with a rubber band and that's pretty much it um this is the final product i'm gonna insert some actual pictures because she didn't want to cut it because like i said she had just got these bundles so we left it a little long i wasn't really satisfied with the end product but she actually ended up adding curls at the top like one of the inspo picks and it came out much better so yeah i just wanted to come in and really explain that to you guys and let me know if you guys like the actual voiceovers so bye hey guys so it's much later and i'm done doing my sister's hair so the top part of the hairstyle wasn't really coming out how i wanted it because she was so hard on not wanting to cut the hair because i told you guys she 
got the good bundles and she had just got them so she didn't want to cut them but originally for that style it's supposed to be like short so the hair can be sticking up i'll probably try to um redo the hairstyle myself and see what it gives today actually i just want to grab some lunch i did end it up getting some first watch i had got the breakfast tacos i ate two but i felt like it was a little too heavy for me i did feel like a little sick like i kind of wanted to like to throw up so for my lunch i want to go you know something small and do a salad which i was planning to just you know go grab lunch but the hairstyle well quick weeks period take me longer than usual so i'm glad i did eat something i will be eating till midday because i think right now it's currently already like three o'clock i'm not really sure i'm about to get us dressed so we can go grab lunch and originally i know i mentioned to you guys that i wanted to do some cantaritos for um the party but i literally could not find no bases i stopped at like four dollar trees and nobody had the bases that i needed so i ended up just getting some that i found pretty small intimate so i don't think it's really gonna matter when it comes to a lot of my like extra extra decors is pretty much what i do for nana like when i decorate for tazana or when it's like a big big event but if it's not a big event you guys i just keep it simple so yeah the party is tomorrow so i'm gonna do my balloons and all that tonight because that's what i like to do now and originally i had already planned out to have my afternoon blocked off for like prepping for that but since it's not um i'm gonna try to see what we do but it's pretty much gonna be a chill day. So I'm like, you know, coming off my fast. I don't wanna be doing too much. I did also wanna go watch The Little Mermaid. Like, I've been, I wanted to take this honor to watch it, and I've been wanting to watch it as well, because I heard it's very good. Y'all know she's into all the, like, the princesses and stuff like that. So I think she's really gonna like it. So since I'm not doing what I had planned to do, I'll probably go do that. So I'm gonna get dressed, and then I was just checking with you guys. So we left lunch from Firebird. Y'all yeah, know they got the best salads for me. It was 10 out of 10. I got something different this time. I got the Caesar salmon salad. Come here. Right Look, now, currently we in it's Target. It's a dress, Tammy. Let me see. Look, this girl name. Look, it's her. Yeah, it's her. Oh my I told God. you guys we was gonna watch the Little Mermaid. Tammy, so I know, I need this. I thought to come to Target to find her collection that I've seen. dress. I don't see the collection other no, than PJs. The Here's one of them with Ariel and then, well, basically Haley Ariel and the regular Ariel. I like this one. And I found these cute Barbie PJs. Twenty dollars. But y'all know we didn't get to do the um, Barbie Gap one, so I'm gonna take these. Outfit check. I just have on this body. Y'all can't see because she over here doing the whole show. And I find this other cuter Ariel pajama set. Two sets. And then I just got some other stuff I seen on sale that look cute. So we're about to head out. Hey guys, so we have made it to the movie theater and we are about to watch The Little Mermaid. And I actually changed Tazana into her Ariel shirt, even though it's a PJ. It's still cute. Ain't nobody gonna know but us. So, you excited to watch Ariel? 
You excited? Yes. So we made it right on time because I think the next showing for this one is at 6.45. It's 6.21. All right, guys, so we got our snacks. I just got this on the little kids um, combo, I guess you would call it. I got our icing. And then here's our tickets. It's actually 3D, but we're going to use the restroom first because she's good for wanting to use the restroom when the movie's on. And then we're going to head to the theater and get started on the movie. Okay guys, so we had left the movie and I really enjoyed it and guess what Tazan did y'all? She fell asleep, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be on Disney um, soon and we'll get to watch it on there. While I got caught like, you know, recording a little bit, getting some content for you guys. Y'all know usually when we be at the movies, we get like, you know, little clips here and there. And as I'm recording, the guy's like, hey, uh, you cannot be recording in here, man. And I was just like, okay, sorry. And then he was like, uh, I need to see you delete the video. I'm like, okay, damn. I was not trying to put up no fuss because they was not about to take me. But honestly, you know, I'm not trying to make no bootleg movie. I'm just trying to get some content. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already seen it. The only reason I didn't bring Tazana when it first dropped was because I know it was like really hot and popular and everybody wanted to see it. I pretty much knew the theater was going to be, you know, packed. And I just been saying like, I'm going to bring her, I'm going to bring her. And then I finally just, you know, got the chance to. And then just for her to end up falling asleep. But it's all cool. Currently right now though, I am on the way to handle some little family business that just popped up. So I'm going to get that situated and then I'm going to most likely talk to you guys when I get home because I mentioned that I was going to, you know, start doing balloons or whatnot. Hey guys, so I am home. I'm going to show you guys my outfit before I take it off. Alright, so I just wore a white crop top, these sweatpants from Body by Raven and I tied the sweater like across like this. And then I wore it with these dunks because it pretty much matches the pink on the booty part. So yeah guys, that was the fit of the day. I'm about to go ahead and take this off and get a little more comfortable. I didn't get to make it to Walmart to get one of the like big bags to put the balloons in. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. i probably just going to have to really do the balloons at my mom's. So if I end up doing balloons, I'm going to show you guys that. And if I don't, I'll probably come back and check in with you guys in the morning.
right guys so it's much later the last thing you guys seen was pretty much me decorating and now i'm just getting dressed to head back out i'm just a little irritated because i took longer than i planned because y'all know it's always something but when i try to order the chair covers and the table covers and stuff from the guy that i usually rent them he was like that he couldn't because he was busy we did what we could do with what we had but y'all know the balloon's still cute regardless i just want to get last minute something like personalized for the backdrop that says like happy birthday in his name so i'm gonna try to see if i can get out to um cvs and print something out really quick but i'm pretty much just getting dressed as you guys see i just did a bun with this bayang thing going on that's kind of why I'm really upset because I wanted to, you know, get all cute and all that extra stuff, do my hair, do something cute to my hair. But we did not have time. The party is a surprise. That's kind of why I'm like rushing, you know, to make it for us to say surprise. But I don't know how that's going to go because she did mention that he gets off work at 6 o'clock. But when she told me to do the invite, she told me to put 7 o'clock. So I'm a little confused. So I'm about to finish getting dressed guys because as you guys see your girl is rushing and this outfit I literally just put it together. I grabbed whatever I seen and felt like will look cute and I still don't even know because my bottoms I have on these bottoms from Pretty Little Thing and this is the closest that I have to match it but these shoes are more green and these is like more teal. So I'm going to decide if I just wear those or if I'm just throw some slides on at this point. Be outside anyways and be messing my shoes up when we be like dancing. So I will probably check in with you guys once I make it to the fiesta. Hey guys, I have made it to, back to Pedro's and I actually did stop at um CVS to get this printed. So I'm just like cutting the outline of the words, you know, so I can put it up on the art backdrop and then i'm gonna fix me a plate of all this food my mama cooked she made mole fish shrimp what else she made rice beans we got some aguachata a little bit of everything but i just wanted to update you guys real quick all right y'all yeah, and then i actually have got these stickers made for these cups so i'm gonna go ahead and put them on here because i haven't had the chance but you probably already seen how it looks with the banner on there or with the with the little thing on there and this stick is a little too damn big that's what it's gonna look like finished putting all the stickers on the cups this is what it looks like cute ready to take shots all right guys this is my plate mole shrimp rice and beans and the tortillas Better go in though. The birthday boy is finally out. Happy birthday, Pedro.
hey guys so i have not came and spoke to you guys for a day or two already i believe so today is sunday and your girl is about to just not hit the grocery store just turned six o'clock but um yesterday actually we ended up just chilling for a little bit got some drinks or whatnot at pedro's the party actually ended up ending early well not really early like two three early for us but not really early like i said but i didn't come speak to you guys because an incident ended up happening and you know pretty much effed up the vibes so then yesterday we went back over there like i mentioned and we was just eating like the leftover food and drinking just vibing so that's kind of why your girl was a little lazy to get up this morning i cleaned up a bit you know the sunday reset routine so right now actually i am just waiting on my mom so we can go to the grocery store together and get whatever i am cooking for dinner i'm still trying to decide what i want to cook i do have like lamb chops and mashed potato in mind with maybe some green beans or some cabbage a lot of you guys actually was commenting down lamb chops that you guys would like to see me cook appreciate all the you know new recipes you guys left so yeah i want to cook something new and then actually pedro ended up making some aguachiles yesterday but they wasn't ready so i think they're gonna bring that over as well um a new recipe that we wanted to try and he said he knew how to make them so he made them so we're pretty much just you know gonna have a sunday dinner vibe you know sunday fun day with the family i did want to like refreshing up and all that but i felt like that was gonna take me a bit longer so i wanted to you know go ahead and go to the grocery store and get all of that sorted out first and then come back and get started on the dinner so yeah guys that's the vibes and i will probably talk to you guys once i get to the grocery store so i am back home from the store now i got everything i needed and everybody's already here so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on my dinner the aqua chiles i was telling you guys about earlier is already here i'll probably try that a little later these guys are helping me do laundry yeah real family <laughs> so they about to fold that up for me Hey 
guys so i came and talked to you guys really quick i know sunday dinner was a little short we pretty much just be having you know like family time just talking about stuff talking about people y'all know how it be when you get together and then i brought you guys with me to start getting stuff for the little cookout that we're having today and looking like yesterday really because we actually had a cookout yesterday for my auntie's birthday but i didn't bring you guys along for that and just because i'll be trying to keep in mind like when multiple of like you know my sister's blog i just let it be that because i don't really like for it to be you know repetitive the same thing on everybody's channel so yeah yesterday was my auntie's birthday we had a really good time and then today actually is the 4th of july but i pretty much always give you guys the rundown that i don't necessarily celebrate the 4th i just basically you know consider it like just a day for the family to get together have a good cookout have some good food some little drinks and you know enjoy ourselves and watch fireworks because i have a child and I like to give her those experiences so yeah guys i just wanted to you know come let you guys know what was going on um right now i am about to get started on prepping you know the usual we have ribs we haven't had those in a minute karen wanted some barbecue chicken so i got the chicken we're gonna do some deviled eggs baked beans of course and then like i said yesterday we had a cookout and it's rice and beans left from that and i do want to make some green beans with maybe like some potatoes in it and i do want to make a fruit board as well so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on that because like i said i have to prep so i'm cooking the ground beef for the baked beans these are the beans from yesterday i'm boiling the eggs so they can cool down and get started on the devil eggs um this is the rice from yesterday i just have my ground beef for the burgers but karen actually said she's gonna prep those so i just have that here um, more eggs just in case I feel like the other ones aren't enough. I already got my ribs washed. I am going to prep them with olive oil and then I like to use these like dry rubs. I got a barbecue rub and I got this other spice rub that's Cajun. Then of course we got the buns out here. Just got the pots and like serving plates that I'm going to end up using so I won't like keep looking for them. Then we got the beef weenies, the green beans. We got the barbecue, the baked beans, we got all the veggies that I'm actually going to cut for the burgers. I always tell you guys I like to do that. And then I have my fruits out here for the fruit board that I want to do. I got cantaloupe, strawberries, um, oranges, apples. I literally just went to the grocery store, so, you know, it's all good. And then we got this little potato salad and coleslaw. Oh, I forgot to get chili for the hot dogs. Um, these are potatoes for the green beans. And then just the lettuce for the burgers and then this is the chicken i just got done washing it and i'm gonna go ahead and season it as well so like i said for now i'm pretty much gonna cut up all my peppers and onions for the actual burger mix and i think i'm also gonna cut some up just in case people want to put on top of like their hot dog like kind of like the polish sausages that i told you guys i like so i'm gonna do that matter of fact i think i want to go ahead and do the ribs and the actual chicken so it could be like you know marinating very nicely before she gets the um, grill started. Alright, so I'll put some oil. I think I'm gonna use both of these rubs actually. And I'm gonna do the chicken literally the same way. So this would have looked like. I'm gonna do the same to the rest. Just put the olive oil on there. And then add the seasonings on top. Alright guys, so I just got done prepping the chicken and the ribs. So now I'm cutting up these potatoes so I can go ahead and fry them for the green beans. I just finished putting the cans of meat into the into the pot of the ground beef. Eggs are done boiling and I'm gonna go ahead and crack these and take the inside out for the for the double egg mix. I just got done doing the green beans. I forgot to show them to you guys, but I put them in the um, oven to like finish cooking which i'm gonna come back because 
Um, as you guys hear, that leaf blower is going on right now. Update on the eggs. I'm taking the yolk out, and they're kind of getting messed up like this. But I'm gonna probably boil some more anyways. But this is how the halves look like that I'm just setting out right here. And Karen is here doing the patties. She's getting it mixed up now, and then she's gonna put the patties on here on the wax paper. A little like the little hack I showed you guys. So I'm gonna be updating you guys on that. So this is progress on the patties still got this bowl left oh i forgot i still had to do my damn fruit um board i wanted to do all right so i'm cutting the honeydew first can of for the board you was just gonna leave like that you was gonna do a few more do the rest I mean, it's 32, so you just need eight. I left the other ones long way, so I'm gonna cut these up like more diced. Put it like on this side. And yeah, I'm gonna add the grapes right here. And then I'm gonna add the slices right here. Apple slices right here. And then I'm gonna add strawberries on this side right here. Hey guys, it is much later and I am dressed. I just threw on this blue dress from Pretty Little Thing. So this is the outfit. This is what your girl given. And everybody is already here. They're outside, of course. She's already grilling for us. I just have to do the um, devil eggs with Karen. So that's what I'm about to do now. I got this little pool kind of thing for the kids. So we're waiting to blow that up for them to, you know, get wet. We're doing the little sparkles. Tommy got three. Cause I'm grown. Tommy got three. Zana, look. Zana. You having fun? Yeah. I got two. And on my This is the grill action, y'all. We got the burgers right now. This is the peppers for the hot dogs, like I told y'all. Then these are burgers and hot dogs that's already done. That's what it's given. Yeah, me and Tam, I do it. I'm not Corona vibe tonight. <laughs> yeah, we on our mix. She got All right, yeah, barbecue chicken is on the grill. We are in the sauce now. I'm about to eat and this is my plate. Hot dog, shrimp, barbecue chicken, green beans, potato salad, and devil eggs. Hey guys, so it's much later and everybody is just not leaving. It's currently 3.37 and y'all know I'm about to call it a night. Your girl is tired, all that prepping. I'll be telling y'all I don't like doing like American cookouts because it'd be too much prepping for me. My legs hurt, I'm tired. I was actually falling asleep as you guys can tell but i wanted to update you guys really quick i think it's blurry but
but yeah i wanted to update you guys real quick and you know just say good night and happy fourth to the ones that do celebrate it